Let's talk about Like a Prayer, how the baseline changed everything, and how, as a result, Madonna upset Pepsi and the Vatican. It was 1988, and Madonna was having a rough couple of years. She had just turned 30, gone through a divorce, and had just won a Razzie for her role in the movie Shanghai Surprise. Shanghai Surprise. Very hot item. Which feels j just problematic. Madonna needed to figure out what she would do next, so she enlisted the help of producer Patrick Leonard. Who, by the way, has worked with artists like Elton John, Michael Jackson, Fleetwood Mac, and so many more. Because of the Catholic themes in the song, Madonna originally wanted the production to be just her voice and an organ. Fortunately, they didn't do that and instead added drums, Andre Crouch and his choir, guitar by Prince, well, the intro at least, though he might have ended up on the chorus, Patrick Leonard doesn't really remember. And on bass, Guy Pratt and his Spectre NS2. Madonna was trying to create a new era for herself, so she reportedly fought a lot with Leonard during this process. And according to bassist Guy Pratt... Uh, working with her in the studio was, was great fun. She, has, she used to brighten up every day. She had this charming little catchphrase. Time is money and the money is mine! <laughs> um. Now, to her credit, though, Madonna knew what she wanted. She kept asking for more from her musicians. As Guy recalls, As I was playing, Madonna was going, Guy, more, more. By the fade, I had run out of licks and had to go back to the beginning again. It's amazing having that bass line on that song. Let's take a look at the main chorus bass line, followed by some of the bridge, played doubly by a mini Moog and Guy Pratt and his Spectre. <laughs> After the album was mixed, Madonna called Pratt back into the studio to hear the final version. He heard some of the most absurd over-the-top bass riffing near the end of the song and wondered who it was because he couldn't remember playing it and couldn't imagine being allowed to play that busy. When the song ended, Pratt turned to Madonna and said, This is one of the best things I've ever heard. Who played the bass? To which Madonna replied, You, dummy. Like a Prayer was unique in that it was the first song to be released in an ad before it was released as a single. Madonna had signed a $5 million three commercial contract with Pepsi, and on March 2nd, 1989, Madonna's first Pepsi commercial debuted. Pretty innocent, right? But the next day, Like a Prayer was released as a single, and the music video premiered on MTV. This video featured a stabbing, Madonna kissing a black saint, offensive religious imagery, and burning crosses. Oh, and still a church choir for some consistency. In response, the Vatican called for a boycott of Pepsi and any associated brands. Pepsi cut ties with Madonna completely, scrapping the other planned commercials, but Madonna got to keep the entire $5 million, thus answering a resounding no to the eternal question, is Pepsi okay? Like a Prayer would go on to be Madonna's most popular song and the fastest rising number one Billboard song since Michael Jackson's Bad. Rolling Stone has listed it as one of the top 500 songs of all time. So in the end, Madonna was right. Time is money and the money is hers. Not Pepsi's. That's the power of a good baseline. <laughs> 